Hey, what's happening, guys? Regardless of the outcome of this video, you probably shouldn't buy power supplies off of Wish.com. But I did. I even forgot I did. Like, I bought this after Christmas. Yeah, after Christmas, somewhere around the first two weeks of January. And it was because I had gotten an ad for Wish with all these things for 99 cents. And, of course, 99 of them had absolutely no interest to me. But there was a 12-volt. Uh, yeah, uh, where's it at? 12-volt, 6.3-amp power supply for 99 cents. We'll have to try it, right? Here's the even more scary part. Came with a power cable. All right, let's uh, let's have a look at this power cable. Honestly, it looks legitimate. PVC, no temperature rating though. And the temperature rating. You got to look real close to see that there's actually a uh, ground lead in there. When I first looked at it, I thought, is that only two connectors? Is it just like going to nowhere? But okay. I'm just wondering if they chopped this off of some piece of equipment that wasn't selling. I, I have never seen a cord shipped like this that didn't have like an inch of this strip back. Doesn't mean they don't make them like that. Just saying I've never seen it like that. The case actually feels like, you know, there's something to it. Got my new 3D printed desk organizer here. Let's see if we can have a look inside. I, yeah, I completely forgot I ordered this thing. <laughs> I got this package that shows up the other day, which was even stranger because it had a California address on it. But they're probably shipping into the U.S. and then another company takes it and another company takes it, you know, and so on and, and so forth. Interesting, okay. All right, let's get down here and have a look. All right, before I uh, jump down into there, I just went over here and typed in WeHo MS75-12. WeHo is an actual company that makes power supplies, so. Again, is it real or is it counterfeit? EFC capacitors. Two hundred volt, one hundred fifty microfarad. That's an interesting choice. Oh, this is an insulating card. Underneath of there. So th these are obviously on the DC side because 200 volt ones would not last. 
No. Those are on the AC side. What the hell? There's my my key. Okay, so live and neutral come in here. And three is my crown. So we got <clears throat> about a one millimeter separation here. And we got, got a lot of mods in here, which is nice. There's some more separation back here. I'm just perplexed by these filter caps. If these filter caps are after the full full bridge rectifier here, which I believe they are, yeah, I'm baffled why they would do that. Let's see, we got a couple chips in here. That looks like a, I mean, it's definitely an optocoupler. Is it, I'm wondering, is it a PC817? Let me get a closer look here. I'm thoroughly baffled by this. Those should be 400 volt capacitors. There's no reason that those are not 400 volt capacitors. I, well, it, between the last scene and this scene, about an hour has passed, and I was researching switch mode power supplies. And this, to me, looks like clone of a Meanwell power supply. And if it is, okay, remember we told you, here's our AC, ground, DC. So our AC comes in, it goes through the fuse, it goes through a safety cap, goes through a choke, and then it gets rectified. Right here. What's coming out of the other side of that rectifier is the RMS voltage that has been fed in. Which means, you know, it's going to be higher than those voltages. We've got this TL, what is it, 38, 3482, it's a uh, switch mode power supply, so, or, uh, yeah, switch mode buck converter. So our current flow is going this way, we're coming through here. This is where we're dropping our voltage. These are our output filter, filter caps, and they are... Sixteen volt, yeah, sixteen volt. Those are definitely the output filter caps. One thousand microfarad, sixteen volts. There's an inductor L1 safety cap. This is going to work absolutely fine for me, assuming these are actual components, because I live in a hundred and ten volt world. But. I mean, if I'm wrong, somebody say something, but holy crap. It wouldn't last very long in a 220-volt world. All right. So back to looking at the circuit. The separation is minimal. One, one millimeter, like I said there. There's a little bit of... This has never been energized. There's a little bit of separation back here at that MOV. Got some sort of a driver here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Probably a 
probably a fit. PC817 optocoupler there for safety. I don't know. Play it and see what the hell happens, right? Alright. I stripped them back. We have British flavored wires here. But we'll make do, don't worry. So there's our ground. I'm used to ground being green. But yeah, I guess yellow is close enough, you know. Live is blue, so brown is neutral. We'll put that in next. Yeah, and then my wires aren't stripped real nice. We're just futzing around here, folks. Okay. Now we're going to need a load for it. Here's my setup. Sketchy Wish Power Supply. Going through a couple of uh, 50 ohm, 50 watt resistors. Controlling the power off screen over here through one of these little, you know, surge protector doodly doodlies. Because, you know, I don't want to actually be too close to this insurance canceling contraption when I energize it here in a second. But, all right. There's an LED in there. Hopefully that's the only thing that lights up when I flip the switch. There we go. Switch is on. Switch is off. Okay. Nothing blew up. This isn't the Electro Boom channel. All right, switch on, power supply on, let's read voltage, I am not touching anything with my hands around, you know what I mean, 12.24 volts, huh, well, I stand corrected, I guess you can get a quality AC DC buck converter power supply off a of wish for 99 cents. No, not really. Who knows how long this would last? A minute, an hour? It is de energized, but I'm going to unplug it anyway, just you know, because sketchy. Yeah, my uh, <laughs> my 99 cent. Wish 12 volt power supply. Seems to work. That's good. I don't know that I'd ever use it for anything, though. No, nothing that I wouldn't be sitting on top of it watching it every second. Anyway, hey, let's go back a um, few videos. Remember, I made a, a switch for this guy and it screwed up the case? Well, I have been working on creating a new case. And uh, we're just about there. Just about there. So you'll be hearing about that uh, sooner, 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 sooner. All right, guys. That's all I have for today. If you'd like this, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share. Don't forget to, sub uh, don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to not buy your power supplies from Wish for 99 cents. That's it. I'm out. Peace.